What's up guys, we're here with the Burp Suite Web Security Academy. We're going to be solving the lab SQL injection vulnerability allowing login bypass. Essentially, we just need to log in as the administrator account and we're actually given the username of the administrator account, which is surprisingly administrator. Now on the back end, it's not making use of what we might refer to as parameterized SQL variables. What it means is we have a single SQL query, which is going to be something along the lines of select from users where username equals administrator and password equals whatever the input password is here. So if we can actually end that SQL query in the middle, then it's going to completely bypass that password check. And it's worryingly simple to do this. All we need to do is end the string for the username and then comment out the rest of the SQL query. Now we usually find with these types of forms that it doesn't always let us submit at this stage, but this is just a JavaScript verification. It's nothing that's responding on the back end. It's just the web page itself saying, I'm not going to send a request to the back end until you've filled out something in this box. We can type anything here. It doesn't matter. It's not even going to use this password in the SQL query because it's going to be in the commented out section of the SQL query. All right, so we just need to click the login button. And there we go, we get the message, congratulations, you solved the lab. And you can see that we're clearly logged in to an account and it says your username is administrator. All right, so thanks very much for watching guys. Remember there will be sites out there with this type of vulnerability, but if you attempt to do something like this on an asset that you don't own or you haven't been given permission to test, then it's completely illegal and could get you into trouble. Thanks for watching, guys.